Hey guys, Destin here again, and I am uh, just about to start day four Let's Play of Indigo Prophecy. I'm going to hop right in with uh, Carla Valenti at the morgue. Well, he's definitely dead, which is why you're at the morgue. Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, if you prefer, you can wait outside. I'd rather stay here if you don't mind. I've studied some medicine. I've seen dead bodies. Oh. As you wish. Okay. No apparent hematoma on the body. Two broken fingernails on the right hand. He didn't see the murder until the last moment. He didn't have time to struggle. Large hematoma on the back of the cranium. Uh, mm, fracture of the occipital bone. He cracked his head when he fell. Abnormal dilation in, um, both pupils. Why are his pupils dilated? What did he see before he died? Three knife wounds between the third and fifth ribs in the proximity of the heart. Uh, the blade was driven in deeply. Uh, the stabs seem to have been delivered from the front and moved from left to right. The murderer was left handed. One stab neatly cut the aorta, and the other two cut the left and right coronary artery. And he really didn't have a chance. The blade slipped right through the ribs to cut the arteries. Do you think the killer had some knowledge of anatomy? Yeah, it's not impossible, but I doubt that someone who the game's getting good. You really have to be deranged to want to provoke a slow and agonizing death in this matter. Do you think it was just by chance? Mm, difficult to say. The chances of cutting all three main arteries to the heart with three lucky stabs are fairly small, but um, it's not impossible. Huh. I uh, saw a case like this once before. It was a while back now, in the 90s, I think. Exactly the same. Three stabs around the heart, each one cutting a main artery. It really struck me at the time. I wondered how such a thing were possible. It was the, um, what was that name again? Karsten or Kirsten, something like that. Kirsten. Yes, that's it, Kirsten. You know about that case? Not yet. I'm sure as hell gonna find out. Come in. H hello, Detective. Hello, Mrs. Morrison. Uh, thanks for taking the trouble to come down. Uh, please, take a seat. Now, we're gonna try and assemble a composite photo of the suspect you saw. We have a computer this lady is probably here on a date You'll with that it's cop. It's really simple. It's kind of like a video game. Have you ever played a video game, Mrs. Morrison? No. Ah, it doesn't matter. You're going to do fine. The most important thing is to try to remember exactly what happened. The program consists of several types of facial features. You scroll through them until it looks like the man you saw. You understand? Yes. Well, I think I do. Okay. Let's go. She never saw me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> oh, I'm going to make him look nothing even close. All right. Um... 
Oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> That's the man. That is the man is the who committed the murder. You saw? <laughs> yes. At least that's how I remember him. <laughs> Thank you very much for your help. We're going to get this picture out to all the airports, trains, and bus stations, and to all of our patrols. Oh, I'm sorry. This guy is still in New York. We're going to find him. You can go by yourself. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> the cops are never going to find this guy. <laughs> oh, boy. I felt empty. After what happened at the office, I began to wonder if I wasn't going nuts. I'm so totally exhausted that I can't fall asleep. <laughs> I don't I know why I find that so I funny. Have. I wander around the room a little. I guess I'll go to sleep when I can't keep my eyes open any longer. Uh, Demon TV. A man dove directly into the frozen water at Central Park today to save a child who had tumbled. That's enough. Yeah, I know I'm awesome. It's okay. Let's go play some guitar. Oh wait, let's punch this thing. Hey, I did not put on rock music. can I do this? Yeah, slow motion. Something is changing inside me. I'm stronger and quicker. Oh my God, what's happening to I me? I am the one. I gotta turn. I can also play guitar like a total badass. Af after I turn on the amp, I totally, totally knew I had to do that. Guitar like a badass. Join the music, playing some Simon Says. It's kind of a cool song. Wonder who did it. Have to Shazam that later. See if anything pops up. Let's play another tune. So that was cool. I will do blues. Playing Indigo Prophecy on 
on a Sunday night for fun. I'm gonna put up the video later and read all the comments. That will be negative. I got the comment blues. Oh yeah. But I got some Simon Says too, and Indigo Prophecy. Oh, here we go. Pick it up. What you do now? What's going on? Here? I can't remember the main character's name. <laughs> it's pretty terrible. Lucas is the cop. Carla. Ethan? Is it Ethan? No way. Why am I blanking on his name? I just I can't remember it. I can't remember your name. Got the blues. Because I have a terrible memory. But I make good at sunset. Oh, come on. He's trying to look up your name. Seriously, he's going to drive me crazy. Bosa. Yeah, hold on. Stop. Lucas. It is Lucas. Okay, the other guy's Tyler. Let's play some music. Get ready again. All right. Alright, murderer, that's enough. Enough jamming out. Go ahead and switch that amp off. And, uh, look at my fridge. Maybe something will scare me in the fridge. Ah, let's go. Bugs start crawling out. Yeah, let's drink some expired milk. Get some groceries, dude. Seriously. What's this? Ah, I got a little brandy going on. Oh, jeez. Alright. Alcohol is a depressant. I don't know if you should be drinking uh, here with the events that are taking place. Yeah, loosen up a bit. Hello. Take that. What else we got? Yeah, more of my duck soup. What if I how much alcohol I can drink? This guy didn't even care. Slamming it back. Nothing? Alright. Oh, now I'm stressed because I drank too much. Jeez. 
You have no new messages. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Okay, who thinks he's going to have another flashback in the bathroom? Yeah, get the blood off. And creepy. No? How do I open the... No, can't open it now. Use the toilet. It's good not to, uh... You know, wait too long between restroom breaks. Have a shower. No? Alright. Doop doop do do. No. Oh god. No, thank you. I get it. You want to go to bed. Bedtime. Hey, this will be the first time you don't have a flashback in your bathroom. Um, go to sleep. Where's the go to sleep button? All right. Oh, this is not going to be good for his emotional state. I'm going. I'm going. I can't get there fast enough. Ah, uh, she's here. Hi. Hi. I came to pick up my stuff. I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, I'm just a little bit sleepy. Come in. Get your stuff and get out of here. Have a seat. Or, or sit. But then, get your stuff and get out. Want something to drink? Look I think there's kind still of a bottle there. of gin laying around in the kitchen somewhere if you want. Yeah, I'd love some. <laughs> You're pretty nice for breaking my heart. I wonder if he can just like drink out of the bottle in front of her. Pure gin, ugh. Here you go, enjoy this uh, poison. God, camera? Thanks. So, how's life? Any I've news? I'm work at the hospital right now, and I'm not completely moved in yet, but I'm doing fine. I'll go and get your stuff. It's just two boxes. I'm not right. sure exactly where they'd be now, but they shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, they've got my initials on them. Gonna assume they're the boxes in the bedroom. Let's say, I hate you on them. Because, you know, that's the adult way to handle things. Now these... These boxes, clearly labeled, are not them. Uh, maybe it's these? No. That's definitely not the picture. Can't grab both, huh? Can we just talk about this? Like, I don't know, did I murder somebody wrong? Alright. There's the other one right there. Yeah, 
There you go, now get out of my $5,000 a month apartment. Here they are. I think that's everything. This place is huge. Is everything okay, Lucas? You look stressed. I've, I've got some big problems right now. I can't really talk about it, but it's fairly serious stuff. If there's anything you don't care. Do, Leave. Lucas. Man, I wish there was, but no. Thanks for all. You could not leave me when I need you the most. Oh yeah, go for the kiss. This is not gonna go well. What? I'm still not ready, Lucas. I need some more time to be alone. What <sighs> happened? I shouldn't have. I'm gonna go. Thanks for everything. Ah. Next time, two gins, and then we go for the kiss. Oh my god, that did not go well. I'd be lying if I said <laughs> I didn't want to. Maybe it was better this way. After all, I had no idea what was going to happen to me in the next 24 hours. What could I offer at this point to a girl like Tiffany? By letting her go, I was protecting her. I've never been much of a drinker, but... You're a handsome guy. A slug or two of gin would help me sleep. <laughs> Come on! I don't think I'm gonna make it through this game and the way he's going. Not a happy guy. <laughs> this is not. I'm pretty sure those said do not take with alcohol. Oh no! I'll never know what happened in that diner on a cold winter's night. Because in the eyes of the world, I was just a murderer. Whoops. Okay, so don't do that. <laughs> oh no, how far back is that going to send me? Creepy. Alright, let's see what happens now. I don't think I've taken any alcohol. No, I'm good. Now go to bed. That's how Lucas learned not to mix alcohol and pills. Stupid Windows operating system. Yeah, this isn't creepy. I'm legitimately creeped out right now. This is weird. More bugs? Oh, Jesus. I don't want cookies. I do not want girls' cookies. Get away from me. And that's the end of my story. <laughs> this guy really does not like the Girl Scouts. Jeez. That little girl again. She seems so real. Must be losing my mind. Come on. I can't do anything right. Alright, guys, I'm going to take a break here. And, uh, you know, for more Indigo Prophecy, be sure to keep it locked on IGN. This game is getting really good. <laughs>